Amanda SPK17, a Lit Pick reviewer, and today I am reviewing Spooky Magic, the second book in the Evie the Everyday Witch series. Moving away from our old school for witches to a normal school full of normal kids is the best thing that ever happened to Evie the Everyday Witch. She likes that she's the only witch there, and she has finally found her new best friend, Izzy. One day, Evie finds out that a new student is also a witch. It turns out to be Veronica, her old enemy. But the greatest blow comes when Izzy asks Evie if she can sit with Veronica instead of Evie in class. Evie is convinced that not only has Veronica replaced her as the only witch, but also as Izzy's best friend. That day, Veronica proposes that the class should have a Halloween magic competition. Their teacher, Mr. Sanders, says that whoever wins won't receive any homework for the rest of the term. But when Evie gets home, she learns that the stakes are much higher than being exempt from homework. In fact, the whole world of witches is relying on her to win this competition. Will she be able to prove herself to Veronica once and for all? Will she be able to save the rights of all the witches? And will she be able to save her friendship with Izzy? Spooky Magic, the second book in the Evie the Everyday Witch series, is an action-filled book. Its complex antagonist versus protagonist relationships make it really suspenseful and hard to put down. As the reader, I was quickly wrapped up in Evie's story, which took me on a constant roller coaster of emotions. Spooky Magic has an easy-to-follow storyline and, in my opinion, the perfect number of characters. I would recommend reading book one of this series before this book to get better acquainted with Evie's backstory. Besides being an entertaining read, this book teaches readers a number of important life lessons, the values of friendship, forgiveness, and perseverance. It also teaches young readers not to let difficult emotions get the best of them and that being yourself is always the best way to be. I would recommend this book to magic lovers ages 8 to 13. If you are interested in learning more about Lit Pick or having your book reviewed or becoming a Lit Pick reviewer yourself, check us out at www.litpick.com.